good morning to you, miss. Have you slept well? Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, I myself. The wound is keeping me awake, I'm afraid. It's been doing that for the last few days. Believe me, I've tried, but... Ah, oh, the pain is just... You know that type of pain that just keeps stabbing and stabbing and stabbing. And every single time you move even an inch, the pain returns. Well, that's how it feels. But it's quite annoying, but I'll be fine, believe me. I do have to ask. Why are you up so early, miss? I don't mean to be intrusive, of course, but... It's just very noticeable for you. Oh, I don't mean to offend you in any way, it's just... Well, the last few days that I've been staying here, which I am very, very grateful for, you've only come out of your bed around noon. Again, I understand, and this is your house, but... It does make it a little weird that you're getting up so early. So what's going on? But you want to change my bandages. Although I do appreciate the gesture. I am a knight of the king. I think I can handle changing my own bandages, miss. After all, how hard can it be? Well, I won't lie. Before, I've always had a servant with me to help me. And the last time I got wounded, he took good care of me, and the times before that as well, it's... Well, it can't be that hard, can it? I'm sure I'll figure it out myself. So please, miss, go back to bed. Truly. Are you mocking me? I haven't done it yet, but I'm sure it can't be that hard. Besides, I've done much harder things in my life. I've slain beasts, men, warriors twice my size. Changing this pair of bandages will be like a piece of cake. Truly, you have no idea what I faced, miss, and you are grossly underestimating me. I must say I'm a little offended, actually. Is that a challenge, huh? Well, fine. I'll show you. See? It's a piece of cake. It's a little more sensitive than I thought it was, I won't lie. As I faced a giant crusty bear, this is nothing. I swear to the gods, this is not a laughing matter. Damned. Fine. I wave my flag, you win. I must ask you for your assistance once again. Would you be so kind to help me with these bandages? And please, by the gods, be careful. Thank you. I, I do appreciate it, and I... I should know how to do this. I have no excuse for this. But... I am grateful that you are here, and you are willing to do this for me. Although I must say, you are quite skilled at this, aren't you? Am I not your first wound at night? Ask come begging for your help. <laughs> I thought not. Well, however you learned such skill. I'm glad you did. <laughs> it has definitely come out handy now. You truly are a saint, miss. I'm not sure what I would do without you. Well, to be honest, I reckon I'd be dead by now. After all, you were the one that saved me from that bear. And the creature that killed the damn bear. Still wondering what that was. But enough talk about mysteries. And in truth, I owe you a gratitude which is greater than my own life. I've already sworn to protect you, but... I reckon that won't cut it. I reckon that won't cover the costs. I reckon that won't cover my tail with you. I don't think that would... I don't reckon that would actually cover the amount of debt that I have with you right now. So, to make us both happy, I may have a proposition. 
You see, after my quest is done, I'll be returning to the kingdom. I'll be getting my reward, and after that I'll be returning home. I live quite comfortably, you see, even though I must leave my home occasionally to perform such quests. I am quite a wealthy man, and so I would like to invite you to my home. Well, it's quite a beautiful place, I must say. Very roomy as well. Quite a few servants to take care of every need you may have. I would like you to stay there, as my honoured guest. Everything you may need will be taken care of. You won't have to worry about a single thing in your life anymore. How does that sound? Hmm? You refuse? Why? Why on earth would you refuse? Uh, don't get me wrong, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but... Well, look around. What you have is comfortable, but... Well, I think survivable would be the better term. There isn't much else. I am offering you a life of luxury. I could ensure that you'd never want for anything. Why in the world would you choose this place over all that? I'm offering you a once-in-a-lifetime chance here. A chance to get out of poverty. To be taken care of till old age. And stay among friends till death. I apologize. I do understand. I understand that you are attached to this place. But my offer will still stand. So don't worry. You have plenty of time to think about it. Having said that as well, I would like to continue my journey. Firstly, by inspecting that bear's carcass. I want to figure out what actually killed it. Because whatever got it, it can't be human or any normal creature. Perhaps a monster of some sort. The sheer strength that it would take to take down a bear like that, it's unimaginable. I, personally, have never faced something like that. And whatever killed that bear must be the monster of my quest. So I am bound to hunt it down and kill it. Slay the beast and take the reward. That is why I was sent. That will be my life's purpose. And until my life's purpose is complete, I will not be able to return to the kingdom. So... I believe it's reasonable to assume that I'll be hanging around for a little while, at least. If I survive such an encounter, that is. Well, I do not want to put you in any more danger than I already have. But would you be willing to accompany me until my quest is complete, at least? Well, as you've just found out, even though I'm a much capable warrior, I am a terrible healer. And I'm afraid that's not the only thing I'll be terrible at. I have survived for long terms in the woods, but I've always had company. Someone to take care of me, in a way. Right now I have nobody. Except you. So I don't want to burden you with more work. And I'll compensate you fairly either way. If you accept my offer or not, you'll be paid well. That's a guarantee. Okay? But again, the choice is yours. I won't force you into anything. And I won't lie, it will be dangerous. I mean, you must have seen what happened to that bear. It was not human. Nor was it any creature that I know of. So, what say you? Will you join me in my quest? Or would you like to stay safe at home? I am so glad to hear it. Truly believe me, I am fairly sure I would have died without your help. So thank you for joining me. Now, how about we get ready? I am sure the road ahead is waiting for us. And this will be the start of a great friendship. By the way, um, perhaps a question I should have asked earlier. 
How far is it to the place where the bear carcass would be? Well, I wasn't conscious and everything, so I have no idea how far it actually was. Three hours right. That's doable. Another question that I must ask, and I for some reason completely forgot to ask. What happened to my horse? Is it still alive, or... It fled. Oh, that is a shame. It's quite a pricey one, you see, but... Alas, so be it. If that's the price of my life. Does that mean that you carried me all the way here? By yourself? Gods, you are much stronger than you look. F well, it's not a bad thing at all. It's a great thing, even. Especially seeing the risk involved with our quest. But enough chatting and talk. Let's get ready. If you are willing, of course. I'd rather have to you, miss. I'll follow your lead. <laughs>